Welcome back. This is the last video of the series. In the last video, we learned how to compute the number of possible tours, and we mentioned that if we have n cities, then uh, if we fix the, I'm sorry, if we have n cities, then we can have n factorial number of possible tours. But if we fix the first city, then we can cut down the number of cities uh, by one, so it becomes n minus one factorial. And if you remember, we mentioned the idea of having uh, the same tour appearing twice, it, just in the opposite direction. So we're going to consider two tours, uh, one in one direction, the other, uh, other one in the opposite direction, because they have the same distance, we are going to consider them one. Just as a quick reminder, if you look at this, if we go from Lille to Nancy to Lyon to La Rochelle, then if we go from La Rochelle to Lyon to Nancy to Lille, this will be the exact same distance because it's the same road just in the opposite direction. Okay, so we mentioned this before and that helps us cut down the number of possible uh, tours by half. So we divide by two because the same tour appears twice just in the opposite direction. Now, we mentioned also the idea uh, of this uh, where, where the number of cities grows gradually and the number of tours as you mentioned grows extremely fast by the way this is called exponential growth right if you notice cities for example increase by one but the increase in the, the increase in the number of tours is just huge between each uh, increase in uh, in the number of cities right it's quite large if you look at the jump between 15 and 20 okay this is five but here the difference is just too significant it's too large right as we mentioned this is known as um, exponential growth now uh, can we go through all these tours in feasible time well let's find out let's assume that we have a computer that can process 1 million tours per second okay so if um, the number of cities is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 maybe 12 we can compute that easily to get the calculator so let's say for example if the number of cities is 12 and the number of tours is going to be n minus 1 factorial divide by 2 so 12 minus 1 is 11 11 factorial and then divide by 2 this is the number of possible tours then our computer processes 1 million tours per second if we divide by 1 million we get the number of seconds right to go through all the possible tours that's about 20 seconds you can do the same for uh, n 11 or uh, 10 but what if n is actually 15 well let's find out when n is 15 15 minus 1 is 14 so 14 factorial divide by 2 this is the number of tours as you can see now the number of seconds is going to be divide by 1 million number of seconds divide by 60 to get the number of minutes divide by 60 to get the number of hours so if we have 15 cities then it's going to take our computer which processes 1 million tours per second about 12 hours well what if the number of cities is actually 20 let's find out so you can see the the significance and the time it takes when the number 15 uh, a number of cities is 15 and the number of cities is 20 20 minus 1 is 19 19 factorial divide by 2 this is the number of possible tools as you can see now divide by 1 million gives you the number of seconds divide by 60 to get the number of minutes divide by 60 to get the number of uh, hours divide by 24 to get the number of days divide by 365 to get the numbers the number of years it takes our computer to process all possible tours when the number of cities is 20 1928 years not only this but let's assume the number of cities is actually 25 let's do that 25 minus 1 is 24 24 factorial divide by 2 this is the number of possible tours divide by 1 million gives you a number of seconds divide by 60 number of minutes divide by 60 number of hours divide by 24 number of days divide by 365 gives you the number of years and you can see well how do you read that that's 9 billion 837 million 
how I don't know how much how many years right so more than nine billion years to go through all possible combinations of the when uh, of, of the possible solutions or possible tools when the number of cities is 25 this is what I meant when I mentioned before finding the solution in feasible time so as you can see it's just impossible to go through all the possible solutions all or, or all the possible tools uh, when the number of cities is 25 even if we have a really powerful computer even if the computer is more powerful than this you can see or you can actually compute can predict the, the amount or the, the, the time how long it's going to take to go through all the solutions this is why going back to the brute force approach the brute force approach uh, is guaranteed to find the best solution because it goes through all the possible solutions this is uh, uh, known as an optimal solution or an optimal algorithm because it will find uh, the solution because it goes through all the solutions but it's not efficient because it has to look at all uh, the possible tools and this can take a very very long time it's just not feasible this is how important and how significant and how interesting the traveling salesman problem is and there are different ways and methods of trying to find at least close to optimal you know the best solution that we can have not the real solution but at least the best that we can have the best uh, solution that we can have uh, uh, to solve such a problem I have my own explanation of genetic algorithms you can uh, watch those videos and I will be explaining uh, they, uh, genetic algorithms is one way for example of trying to find a solution to the uh, traveling salesman problem I will have my own videos on uh, using a technique known as simulated annealing in an, an attempt to find the solution to the uh, traveling to my problem. So I hope you like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in one of my next tutorials.